Grade 7 math, number 9.2c, find area, solve in terms of pi. See our little circle here? We've got all our little square units of area on the inside. We can see the circumference going around the pink line around the outside. What well, we learned before that the formula for the area of a circle is a equals pi r squared. If a circle has a radius of 4 inches, if that's 4 inches, we multiply pi as 3.14 to 4 times 4, the radius. See, because the radius is squared, 4 times 4. So the area is approximately 3.14 times 4 times 4, or 3.14 times 16. See, 3.14 times 16 is 50.24. And it's in square inches because it was inches. It's square units. We use this approximate symbol because pi is not exactly 3.14, right? It's approximately 3.14. As we said before, it's got over a million digits. So we just round it off and do 3.14. So for a circle with a 4-inch radius, our answer is in square units, and it's 50.24 square inches, OK? We can find the area of a circle and give our answer in terms of pi. This means pi will be in the answer. That's all. If the problem says c equals 4 pi, a equals, and we need to find the area, we don't know what the area is, it means the circumference equals 4 times 3.14, or 12.56. So now we know the circumference, and we need to find the area, but with pi in the answer. So now we know the circumference, but we don't know the radius. We don't know the diameter. Well, we learned in the last video that we can switch the circumference formula around by dividing by 2 pi to help us find the radius. So the formula, c equals 2 pi r, that's the formula for the circumference of a circle. We divide both sides by 2 pi. And what that does is it eliminates this 2 pi, and it becomes a 1. And our formula becomes c divided by 2 pi equals r. Now we can find the radius, because we know what the c equals. We know it equals 12.56, right? We're getting there. All right, so we're trying to find area. They gave us the circumference is equal to 4 pi. We know that's 12.56 now. And we know that we switched this formula around, the circumference formula, and we eliminated this 2 pi, so now our formula says circumference divided by 2 pi is equal to the radius, so now we can find the radius because we know what the circumference is. It's 12.56, right? So we do this, circumference divided by 2, uh, uh, oh, circumference over 2 pi. So we put the 12.56 as the numerator, 2 times pi down here, 2 times 3.14 is 6.28, so now we've got 12.56 divided by 6.28. Well, that's 2. That means the radius is a 2. Well, we know our area formula is pi times radius squared. Oh, we're getting there, aren't we? So now that the radius is 2, we can plug it into the regular area formula. Area equals pi r squared. See? So we know that's a 2. So it's 2 times 2, right? 3.14 times 2 times 2, that means 3.14 times 4. And if we multiply that, we get a 12.56. So the area is 12.56. Wait, but it said the answer is supposed to be in terms of pi. Well, it was back here. It was in terms of pi right here. That's pi times 4. That means our answer is area equals 4 pi. And then we need to write square units because feet, inches, centimeter, whatever, we know our answer is going to be in square units, isn't it? It didn't tell us what the square units were, so we write the words square units. See? We just gave an answer in terms of pi. Now, what if it said that c is equal to 12 pi and it needed the area? Well, we just do 12 times pi, 3.14. And we get 37.68 as the circumference. Now we find the radius, because we know the circumference, and we use the c over 2 pi equals the radius. 
and we put the 37.68 over the 2 pi. That becomes 37.68 over 6.28. When we do this division, we get a 6, so we know the radius is 6. Since the radius is 6, and we know that area equals pi r squared, that means pi times 36 is going to give us the area. Well, we don't need to do this, do we? Because we need to have the answer in terms of pi. Our answer is 36 pi square units. See? This wasn't really that hard, was it? If you follow the steps, it really helps if you know your formulas. So on the inside cover of your spiral, you should have the formula for the area of a circle and the formula for the circumference of a circle. I used to do that when I was in school. I would have all my formulas written on the inside cardboard cover of my spiral. And then when I had the spirals, like the five stars that had the pockets in between all the subjects, I would write it on the cardboard pocket. I would write all my formulas. That way I could just flip to them really quick and say, what was the formula for the area of the circle? Oh yeah, it was that. See? It'll make it quick and easy for you. So, I hope this was helpful. I know these can be really, really confusing. And I just hope that I explained it clear enough so that you could understand. We're going to move on to our next video. And I hope to see you there. Don't forget to hit the like button if I helped you. Bye.